All right, Google Sheets has a pretty cool function called import XML. And we're going to go over how to use it to grab data from the web and pull it into your Google Sheet. And as we go through this example, if you go to sheetshelp.com, you can grab your own copy of the spreadsheet and follow along by copying it into your own Google Drive. And that spreadsheet will look just like this and we're going to use it to go over the first example. All right, so what we're doing here is we're going to go on the web and we're going to grab this list of federal holidays and bring it into the spreadsheet. This function uh, lives in one cell, but it can write data down and to the right. So it builds this array from the result. But if we go into A3 and let's uh, just double click in here, you'll see the entire function and it looks really complicated, but it's really only two arguments. All right, so the first is uh, the website URL and the second is the XPath. Now there's an optional argument if you need to specify what language it's in, but everything we're doing on here is in English, so you can actually just leave that off. And the first thing that we'll talk about is this URL. So I started this by trying to look on the web in different places for lists of holidays. Found some, uh, but on some of them, let's go to the website. I would get an error that says, could not fetch the URL. And that's a common error in using import XML. And basically you just have to try another website. So as I was looking around, I stumbled upon this official government website. And what I did was once I found this, I copied this entire URL. I come into the function, I put in a quote because it's a string of characters and needs a quote. And then I pasted it into here. And then I did an ending quote. If you look, there's a year number on the end of the URL. If you want to update this the next year, you could just come into this formula, change it to 2023, and it's going to pull in the new dates. And so this list of federal holidays, if you make it 2023, look at it right now, MLK Day is on a Monday, January 17th. If you do 2023, it's on a Monday, January 16th. So some of these lists can be updated if they have a good URL like that. We'll go back to 2022. And we'll talk about the second argument here. So what we're looking at is the XPath query. And XPath is a specific language and it's built to point all the way down into the document and describe only what you wanna pull out. So I, I didn't come up with this myself. I used a tool and we'll talk about that tool in a second. But what it does at the end is this is the table that I selected. It happens to be the first table that's the one in the brackets. And then in the body of that table, we get every row in the first column in that row. So that's table data one. All right, but you don't have to memorize all of that. Let's hit the escape key. We'll go to federal holidays. This is the table that we're trying to bring in. But if you're using this in another function, let's say for example, the workday function or maybe workday international, so you actually want to use import XML to bring in the holidays directly into the function. You're only going to want valid dates. So this right hand column is not going to be helpful. You actually don't want these either, uh, but we want to specify this column. So in order to do that, I'm going to right click on it and I've installed an extension into Google Chrome called selectors hub. And that allows me to just copy the relative X path. So we'll left click on that. If we come over, I'll just put it in an empty cell. It does all of this hard work for you. All right, so we I modified a little bit on here because I want more than just the first row. I want all the rows in the table. So I will delete the one in brackets there, but you still do just want the first column, so leave that. Hit enter, that's your X path, and you'll come into this import XML I'll hit the F2 shortcut key here to see the entire formula. And you can see that that's the syntax that we used. As we mentioned briefly, the third argument is locale, but you can just leave it off and hit enter. One thing you'll notice is that we got lucky on this. Although we grabbed just one column, Sheets decided to put the asterisks in the next column. So we can use this in other functions. And how I know that is if I do the isDate function to see if this is a valid date, I'm going to get it true. Drag that all the way down and it says true. All right, so the import XML function in this case is working great. It's doing exactly what we want. And we can uh, just use this function 
here if we copy the entire thing in other functions. All right, so we'll move on to the next example. And if you have the sheet, you can just scroll down. We wanted a simple example of being able to just pull all the links off of a website. All right, and in this case, we decided to use sheetshelp.com because it is the most wonderfulest website in the world. I'll right click on the functions, we'll open that in a new tab. And this is what we want to bring in. It's going to bring in the link to home here. It'll bring in your navigation links because we are asking for all of the links. And it will also bring in an accessibility link, which we will see now. So let's go to this function. It's in A17, which is actually hard to tell, but I just know because that's where the start of my content is. If I double click, this one's a lot shorter because the URL is shorter. And then also the X path is shorter. So this is an X path saying it get all the A's. That's what a, the HTML is. It designates that it's going to have a website link in it. Pull in that full link and write it out here. All right, when I mentioned that you can use this in date functions, next up is a little playlist of a couple of date functions. And you'll notice that workday and weekday can use a list of dates like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in this next video.